Following Russia's withdrawal from the Black Sea grain deal, the EU seeks to export Ukrainian farm produce via countries bordering that country, which the union calls solidary lanes. The IMF says repercussions to global food prices could be significant as well. Our Shin Sebe reports. The European Union is seeking to export Ukrainian grains via what are called solidarity lanes. This is according to the EU Agriculture Commissioner on Tuesday, following Russia's recent withdrawal from the Black Sea grain deal. The trade using the solidarity lanes by, by Poland, by, by Hungary, for example, by Romania. Romania is the, the, the biggest uh, transport uh, the, the corridor. Solidarity lanes are rail and road transport connections through EU member states. To realize the plan, cooperation is needed from five countries bordering Ukraine, including Poland, Hungary and Romania. Russia recently pulled back from a UN-backed initiative that allowed Ukraine to safely ship its farm produce through ports on the Black Sea. This could severely harm global food security as Ukraine, known as the breadbasket of Europe, is amongst the top three exporters of grain in the world. In fact, the International Monetary Fund on Tuesday warned that Russia's recent pull from the deal may result in higher global grain prices. We would be thinking that somewhere in the range of 10, 15 percent increase in prices of grains is a reasonable estimate. Meanwhile, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba, in an interview with France 24 on Tuesday, said Ukraine would keep trying to revive the deal. However, he also added, if it is not possible, it will seek an alternative sea route to ensure grain exports to Europe. When it comes to new export alternatives, he said Q could use American F-16 fighter jets to protect grain shipping lanes in the Black Sea. Kileva said Q with F-16s could launch a new, safe and efficient corridor to export some 100 million tons of Ukrainian grain to the global market. Ukraine is due to receive the jets before the end of this year. Shin Sebyok, Adirang News.